I feel like strangers making small talk with you and humongous portions of food at restaurants are two of the often cited, you know you're in the US when things. But back in January, I went to the US and while I was there, I made notes and took a bunch of photos of a whole lot more. Hey everyone, I'm Donna and you're watching Wanted Adventure Living Abroad. If you follow me on Facebook, you might have seen a few of these that I already posted while I was in the US, but don't worry, most of these ones today are ones that I haven't shared on Facebook yet. So, you know you're in the US when you see mailboxes on the side of the road with a little flag on them. You put the flag up when you put the mail inside for the mailman to pick up, and then once they've picked up your mail and possibly put new mail in it for you, they put the flag down. So one glance out your window will tell you if the mailman has come by or not. And it's because of this setup with the mailboxes on the side of the road that the driver's seat in the mail cars is actually on the right so that the mailman can just take your mail and put new mail in it from their seat. You see toilets in public restrooms that have a gap on the seat in the front. I went into more detail about toilets and restroom differences in Germany and the US in another video, which I'll link to down below, but I totally forgot to mention this gap. And a lot of people asked about it, so I did a little research. And by research, I mean that I did a Google search, why is there a gap in American public toilet seats? And found that it's a little up in the air, but seems to be related to hygiene. I'll link to the articles I found as well, but whatever the reason, if you see one, there's a pretty good chance you're in the US. You also know you're in the US when the first line of a help wanted advertisement is, are you a happy person? So I've blurred out the company behind this ad, but I saw this on the front door of the business as I walked in. I've also seen, are you a friendly person? And kind of going along with that last one, you know you're in the US when your cough drops come with pep talks on them. So while in the US, I bought a totally normal bag of cough drops at the store and then cracked up when I opened the first one to find a bunch of positive cheers on the wrappers. Each wrapper is different, but I took some photos. So one wrapper said, Conquer today, march forward, take charge and mean it. Another one said, it's yours for the taking, get back in there. Also, you've survived tougher, the show must go on or work. To me, this just sums up the American mentality perfectly. It speaks volumes that none of the cough drops said on them, you're sick, crawl back into bed and take the day off. So on the one hand, I do like the positive messages, but on the other hand, I think it's important to sometimes give yourself a break. You also know you're in the US when you've got these huge intersections with huge cars driving through them. I didn't really notice how big the intersections in the US were before moving to the Czech Republic and then Germany because, well, for one, they were simply all I knew, and two, I never walked anywhere, so I always saw the intersections and the cars from inside my own car where they all look a lot smaller. But this time back, I did some walking around and really noticed just how huge the roads and intersections were compared to what I've gotten used to here in Munich. And lastly, as I mentioned on Facebook, you know you're in the US when you see water fountains all over the place. These were something that I really searched for when I first moved here to Germany. Where are all the water fountains? In the US, you'll see them in schools, malls, airports, really all over the place. So my question for you is, how do you know you're in your home country? What are some of the special characteristics of the place where you live? And what did I miss for the US? 
please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Perhaps you've noticed I've also got a midweek series on Wednesdays called Ask an American where I do my best to try to answer your questions about the US. So if you have any, please send them to me. And if you enjoyed this video, please show some love with the like button. And also for more photos and behind the scenes stuff, you can check me out over here on my Twitter and my Facebook page. Until next time, Auf Wiedersehen. What are some of the special characteristics and, 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 <laughs> why is there a gap in the American public toilet? And possibly put male, <laughs> I always get giggly at this part. I think I get excited. But when I went back this past January, I made notes and took a photo.